Hey everybody, welcome back to another video regarding God of War Ragnarok. I am Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. We're going to talk about patch 3.0 today and what that has brought for us to the table. First and foremost, one of the main things is something that's been heavily asked about and that is a photo mode feature. So that is easily accessed. You just go into oh, you just go into your menu like this by hitting the uh, start button, square for photo mode, and you're in. Now, this photo mode is not as robust as other ones, like you saw in Horizon Forbidden West, for instance, with all the different poses you can do. But you can adjust stuff like field of view, focal length, little camera roll if you want a little Dutch uh, angle on that kind of stuff here, depth of field, focus, distance, yada yada. You can add some serious film grain to it if you want to take it away raise the exposure there's a variety of filters as well and they can all be altered in different ways from their intensity to their vibrance and saturation so here's a look at some of these great filters <coughs> now this just came out today it's what um the 5th of december no new game plus yet but we got photo mode to start with so that's great so Take a look at these different filters that are available here. Some really cool ones in there. And what else we got up here? So, and you can, of course, put a vignette on there, which is always neat. I like vignettes. Um, and, of course, you can make the fall off in intensity altered. You got the classic logo and border, so you can give yourself that movie look to it. This is what I used to do for my old, uh, my God of War 2018 videos is I'd go into photo mode and make all of my um, thumbnails in there in a black and white with the, uh, of course, God of War logo up at the top. So, you know, that sort of thing right there. Now, here's where the fun comes in. You can, of course, hide if you just want like a, a nice vista view or something like that and your character's in the way. You can only show one of them if you want. Just Kratos, just Frey in this case. Other characters, like uh, we've got Lunda in here. We can go ahead and hide her if we want, or bring her back. And look, it also gets rid of the little uh, piggy down there, the pig dog. That's kind of neat. And then, of course, we got these great facial expressions, which ought to be fun, especially the way this one's set up here. So let's start with Freya. <laughs> Yeah. Whoa. Hmm. Okay, some of those are really bad looking. <laughs> some of them are really bad. Let's go. Let's look at him head on here and get a good expression for him. That roll in the eyes. Okay, doing the rock. A little smile, a little down crest, a little suspect. Oop, surprised. Thinking. And then <laughs> I think we can get a. <laughs> so you can see you can play with some camera angles and get some funny shots in here. There you go. And then easy enough, hide the UI with the square button, share with the uh, PS share button, and you've got yourself a nice little screenshot and a custom photo in the photo mode, which is pretty, pretty neat. So I'm really glad they added that. I wish it was a little more robust, but based off the last God of War, I didn't expect much more than what we got here. And I'm just grateful we got it. I just finished uh, filming my no commentary series that's going to actually run through the beginning of January last night. So this pops up at a time when I can't use it for that anymore, but I can use it on my commentary series and any other videos I do. And I'm going to be doing some videos featuring uh, different armor sets and all that a little bit more now that I've uh, made it through. And I'm probably going to start a third uh, playthrough where I go over different puzzles and stuff like that and just break those down into short videos to help people out that are stuck in certain areas. Now, there are a ton 
of patch notes. And I will put a link down in the description for you to go over them yourself. A lot of stuff regarding quests and progression where game the game has stopped for some people because of various things happened that just blocked the progress of a certain um, quest. So it's really nice to see those things fixed. Uh, the narrative and story. Sometimes, I don't know if you ever had this happen to you. I believe I've had it happen to me in at least one of my playthroughs. Is the story that are being told in the boat by Mimir will get interrupted sometimes for no real reason. So that's been fixed. And they fixed a case where the narrative momentum or moment would repeat incorrectly when reloading a save in a quest. Uh, the Reckoning, that quest in particular. Just tons and tons of fixes. I'm looking through them all right now. Some gameplay fixes. Uh, one I experienced once, they're fixing where I dropped from a ledge and actually fell through the map. Now, I didn't fall like endlessly and then die in the depths of hell or anything like that, but I did fall through the map and I was able to um, kind of latch back up with my uh, um, chains of uh, chaos there to get back up. So that helped me get back out of there. But I was like, holy crap, how did I drop through the map here, you know? Fix some issues with some stun grabbing during combat and certain things like that to being able to use or not use a resurrection stone at the proper time. Um, just tons and tons. A couple, actually several UI fixes and a lot with uh, stability and performance that are fixing crashes. Now, I've played probably 60 hours of this game on the PS5 right now. And I have yet to experience a single crash. That's just my experience. I don't know if any of you guys have had any crashes, but I've heard of them out there, but fortunately, I've never experienced one, so that's been great. Uh, some lighting issues and so forth have been fixed, and some music issues and um, accessibility issues. It looks like some fixes were made with the navigation assistance, high contrast mode, aim, uh, aim assist targeting, and so forth and so on. Then the PS4 had a couple specific ones that include improving loading time of enemies in certain locations and environmental loading times when traversing the world. So, you know, here we are. We're two years into the new generation of games and the PS4 and probably the PS4 Pro as well are going to be struggling with some of these brand new games. That's just a fact of, of the way it's going to be as these new games start to test the limits of the actual current generation, they're going to surpass the uh, limitations of the previous one, and that's going to really challenge those machines. So if you haven't had a chance to upgrade and it's feasible for you, I hear that the PS5 is a lot more readily available than it was for the last two years, and I know it was a struggle. <laughs> I've still got friends that are like, I can't find one! and But now they're starting to show up. We're, start, we're seeing them in stores. I live in a small town in Florida, they're showing up in a store around here once in a while, but they are not sticking around. It's not like 10 of them show up and three days later, there's still four left. They are going pretty quick. So in any case, thanks for joining me. If this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, or you enjoyed it, just please leave a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications. I do got to work Ragnarok videos daily and will be throughout the middle of January probably, and maybe even a little bit more into that. We'll see. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you all next time. Until then, peace.